I don't even know how to start this video other than that there's a serious problem with the whole Northwind Mayor situation, starting with the mayor himself. When he started running, he had as one of his big policies building a gambling casino. Mind you, this is for a Roblox game that has a massive number of underage children playing it. Now before I get into Roblox's 13 plus age rules, quick disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer, have not been a lawyer, and will not be a lawyer, nor do I offer any legal advice for the entirety of this video. On with the reason this is a big problem Roblox wise is because if we read the Roblox experience guidelines and age recommendations for the 13 plus rating, it says that it may contain unplayable gambling content. So in other words, it's implied that playable gambling content isn't something that's allowed to be contained in the game. Now, the difference I assume to be is that unplayable gambling, for example, an NPC that you can't be holding gambling cards from some specific gambling game or something, or an inoperable gambling machine that's just there for aesthetic purposes. Now, if we assume that, as Wash himself would say, a casino, and inside that casino was gambling, I'm also going to assume that the gamblers were real players, which I mean, this could be a bunch of NPCs gambling inside with each other. I have ever slight doubts about that possibility. So since this is all taking place on Northwind in Roblox, which Northwind rates itself 13 plus, they very well could be in violation of Roblox's guidelines. In addition to that, I'd like to point out that real laws in real life also have a significant amount of restrictions for online gambling lotteries, and more. Now at this point in the video, I'm pretty sure a common criticism people are going to have is, well, good thing it's not gambling with monetary value and their lotteries aren't entered with anything of monetary value. Wait a minute, if Robux can be purchased with real monetary value, and if Ducats can be purchased with monetary value, that's, that's a good thing Ducats can't buy Northwind Pounds. But you can still buy items that can be directly sold to NPCs for Northwind Pounds. So in other words, direct IRL money can be spent to achieve Northwind Pounds. Which in that case you can buy Northwind Pounds with money. Zwash's own words say that he started a casino hosting gambling and lotteries. So if he is using Northwind Pounds and Northwind Pounds have a monetary value, and he's not requiring some sort of age ID, then he would be hosting gambling or lotteries that could be accessed with real monetary value by underage children on a primarily underage platform. Some of the more concerning stuff is that when I asked Zwash, and I tried to give him an opportunity to provide a defense, he seemed to consider online child gambling and or lotteries to be quote, literally nothing important. Forgive me for being ever so skeptical towards this guy. So, since this video is so short, I'm gonna add in a related mystery as well regarding a screenshot of an alleged conversation between at least a former duper and the mayor Zwash regarding funds for his mayoral campaign. But don't worry, the admin says these screenshots are fake, except that the former duper in question admits that the events portrayed in quote, fake screenshots are real. Not, not only does that duper admit he was a former duper, as the first screenshot suggests, he also admits that he sent funds to Zwash. So I'm not quite sure what a quote, fake screenshot really means when the events in the screenshots are admittedly real by the guy in said screenshots. While I have your attention, I'd like to point out that the same duper who's funding Zwash also says, quote, Candy Power fell off. So at this point, if, if you don't subscribe to Candy Power, you're really joining the duping community, I've gotta say, so the choice is yours. Alright, back to your video. When I asked the admin who alleged that the screenshot was fake, he said, quote, timestamps were forged later on. However, the former duper admitted that these messages were referring to 2023. So when the admin says the situation was resolved in 2022, the obvious question is what does he mean? So, while it is possible the screenshot had dates added on later, my suspicion is that the admin would be the one lying, because the campaign messages couldn't have been much earlier than the campaign announcement, so the dates seem pretty close there, and as for the admission to duping, he admitted it again on the actual Northwind Discord server. The, the action occurred in 2023, and is mentioned in 2024 in the past tense, so again, the time is adding up. 
Alternatively, the admin might not be lying, and he just forgot since he didn't seem too sure about the screenshot. Then again, he also closed the entire picture because he said it's been resolved, so he seemed to be at least sure enough to close it. So I don't know if that would qualify as admin abuse or not. I, I don't know, but let me know what you think. I also want to take a quick moment to say, don't hate the former duper. It appears he doesn't dupe anymore, or at least there's no evidence for it, and forgiveness awaits all those who repent. Though, that being said, really any former dupers, whether they are or are not active anymore, shouldn't be making Roblox political donations to anyone, just because it's incredibly sus that someone who participated in a financial crime would then financially fund something even if the funds were obtained legitimately. Instead of the duper though, I'd like to direct your attention to Flosh himself, who accepted said funds. Also, claims the screenshots are fake despite the other guy admitting the events are real. And on top of that, still allegedly runs an online child gambling casino. And I'd also like to direct your attention to the admins and developers who let this guy run even though he openly stated he'd make a casino in their 13 plus game. Like, before he was even the mayor. And with this episode of LEGO Politics Complete, I'll, I'll see you get. And with this episode of LEGO Politics Complete, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.